makan. Tangan gue masuk. Ah, look how enthusiastic these humans are when they encounter pelicans. This situation is understandable because, at the Hakim's aviary currently, there isn't pelican. So it was only natural that they were so excited like little kids. The pelicans you see are the Bagar Safari Park residents, an animal conservation site in Indonesia that Irfan and his team recently visited. We will discuss some of the birds in this safari park as promised earlier. And who got the first turn was the Australian pelican. It's the aviary! Australian pelican. The Australian pelican or Pelicanus conspicillatus is a large bird. Its length reaches 152 to 188 centimeters, with a weight of 4 to 8 kilograms, although some touch the figure of 13 kilograms. Their wings are also vast. It is about 2.5 meters long. It might be hard for you to imagine them flying with a physique like that. But Australian pelicans have a very light frame, weighing only 10% of their total weight. Therefore, they can fly quickly in the air. They can also float and swim on the water's surface, although their fur isn't waterproof. However, the most prominent feature of these birds is their beak. The Australian pelican is the giant beaked bird in the world. Their beaks, which reach 42 to 50 centimeters, can hold 9 to 13 liters of water. Their mandibles have two thin articular cartilage in which the sac hangs. The bag will loosen when it is filled with water. Male and female Australian pelicans are very similar in appearance. The feathers on their bodies are predominantly white, but the main wings and lower back are black. Their beaks are pink. Their feet, which have four webbed toes, are bluish-gray. The difference between males and females lies in the size of the body and beak. Female birds are smaller than males, as are their beaks only 36 to 41 centimeters long. As the name suggests, Australian pelicans are native to Australia. However, they can also be found in Indonesia and neighboring countries, such as Papua New Guinea and Timor-Leste, and are occasionally seen in New Zealand and some Pacific islands around Australia. In Indonesia, there are three species of pelican. However, the most common pelican seen here is the Australian pelican. They usually roam in lakes, reservoirs, rivers, lagoons, swamps, and beaches. They like open water areas, both fresh and salt water. So, they can also make a meadow or forest to live in as long as those places have an abundant supply of water and fish. Fish are their favorite food, although they also like to eat other aquatic animals. Examples are tadpoles and tiny turtles. They forage by flying low over the water's surface although they do so more often by swimming while dipping their heads in the water. Their sensitive beak helps them detect fish. In addition, the tip of their beak, which has a kind of hook, also makes it easier for them to hold slippery fish. Australian pelicans can hunt for food on their own. However, they often do it in groups. The pelican group works together to herd prey into shallow water. Then they will surround and catch prey with their large beaks. In addition to aquatic animals, the Australian pelican is even known to eat insects, crustaceans, and small reptiles. Small mammals and other birds such as seagulls and ducks weren't separated from their prey. They will make both minor and adult birds their food. They won't just eat the birds. First, they will pinch the caught birds with their beaks. Then, they will drown the birds in the water. One other unique fact about the dietary behavior of Australian pelicans is that, first, they are opportunistic birds. That means they like to steal the food caught by other birds. These birds are social animals that are active during the day. By communicating through beak, neck, and wing gestures, they live in large groups to more than 1,000 individuals. These colonies often fly long distances in search of water, food, and suitable breeding places. The moment they flew together was a beautiful sight, 
where they would form a V-like formation. They are also formidable in matters of flying. They can fly for more than 24 hours and cover hundreds of kilometers over altitudes of up to 3 kilometers. Their flying speed can reach 56 kilometers divided by hour. The mating season of these birds varies. It can take place in spring or winter, depending on the rainfall. Usually, their mating season occurs after the rainfall decreases. They belong to the type of monogamous bird. The Australian pelican will pair up with the opposite sex and stay with the Australian pelican partner until mating. When the next mating season comes, they may still be with their previous mate or choose a new mate. They are also birds that like to breed in large colonies. During the mating season, the number of members of their group can swell to 40,000 individuals, which then build nests on islands or in remote areas of sandy beaches and lakes. When the local population gathers, they will divide themselves into smaller groups. The male Australian pelican will attract the female's attention by performing a complex dance ritual. The male birds, of course, have to compete with each other through a process of elimination until finally, only one male remains. After that, the female bird will invite the winning male to copulate and go to the nest, a shallow indentation in the ground or sand. The nest is sometimes lined with feathers, twigs, and grass collected from around where the nest is made. It is the female who makes the nest with her beak and legs. The female bird will then produce two to three chalky white eggs. The female and male parent will incubate their eggs alternately for 32 to 37 days. When the eggs hatch, the Australian pelican babies will be born blind and without a single hair covering their bodies. The firstborn chick will have a larger body than his siblings, and he will be given more food. His brothers could even starve to death from it. Even if they get enough food, there is a possibility that the eldest son will attack and kill them. After about 28 days, the Australian pelican chicks will leave their nest to join about 100 pelican chicks of the same age. At the baby care center, groups of Australian pelican chicks will be taught to forage and fly for about two months until they are independent. Juvenile Australian pelicans will grow and mature sexually at two or four years old. Their life expectancy in the wide ranges from 10 to 25 years, although Australian pelicans can live up to 50 years in captivity. The Australian pelican population is still significant in their habitat. The Australian pelican population conservation status is currently in the least concern category. So, if you want to see them, go to the places where they usually live. Or, you can visit the Indonesia Safari Park.